sorry for the late start today. I had a, a late lunch. Anyways, so what we're going to do today is um, we are going to look at uh, how to integrate a reference manager with Scrivener. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, good. So basically, um, you know, um, so there are basically two ways of integrating a reference manager with, uh, with Scrivener. Um, several reference managers, um, thinking about one that I used in the past called Papers, which uh, became so bloated that I gave up on it, have a system-wide site while you write um, uh, function. So sort of like sat here on the menu, you could look for papers and insert citations, you know, wherever you were, on an email, on a document, whatever, okay? And so I just use that uh, with, uh, with Scrivener like I'll do with any, any other, uh, other program. Now, some, some pieces of software like Word and so on have uh, integration with, um, with uh, Zotero and, uh, and EndNote. Uh, Scrivener sort of like works on um, sort of a really basic uh, in, in integration, okay? For me, you know, just for my workflow, it's, it's, it's good enough. So I'll show you how it works. If you go to preferences in Scrivener, okay? Uh, may, on the main preference, you have citations here, see? Citations, and you basically choose your bibliography manager. You can only have one. So I'll just go to apps, look for bookends, open, and there you go. Okay. So that's what, that's what it does. Okay. And then like super simply, uh, the way it works is, um, if you, if you are writing in Scrivener, you go here and you, you say bibliography citations. You can also just press a shortcut, which is, um, control uh, Apple Y. Okay. And what it does is it opens your, your software. Okay. So you can search for, for whatever you want. You can go to your, uh, to your, uh, to your article list, whatever. And you just go here and say, copy citation, right? There you go. And there, and there's our citation, right? So basically that's what it does. It's, you know, if, if we want to be not very generous, it's basically a, 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 a shortcut for an app switcher into your, your reference software. Okay. No. What I do at the end is I just, I just open uh, an RTF file. So I'll just go here. Okay. I, um, I copy, uh, my, my paper. So sometimes you'll, you'll, you'll have to select the, the entire thing. Right. So I'll copy my paper. Where, where did I put this now? Hmm. Yeah, there it is. So I'll copy my, my paper. Um, I'll paste it here and then save no refs. Okay. And then I'll go to bookends format. Scan document. There we go. Open. Okay. Okay. And um, if we go to have this up here, we should have the document and you see here the, the reference and then there's the, the, the reference list at the end. Okay. So that's, that's how I do it. Um, what, what can you do to streamline this? Well, you know, streamline, or let's say use more Scrivener functions is you, you, instead of just like copy pasting, um, your, your paper. So normally this would be like, you know, on, on this paper, normally it'll be like, you know, 
I would like um, basically you know copy copy paste like from the abstract to the conclusion okay so here will be all the text I would copy it and I will uh, you know I'll paste it and then so I have like the entire paper in in one file and then I'll scan it as, as you can see this is exactly what I do so you can see here um, I have like um, the references from in in the unformatted uh, bookends uh, format okay and then I'll basically like um, you know use bookends to uh, scan this paper and generate uh, a reference list okay now the other thing you can do is you can you can compile right uh, so compile and basically you know compile will the uh, Compile will basically like, um, you know, build this integrated document on its own without you having to select and copy paste. But I just think that's that's easier. Compile is more is more useful when you have parts of uh, the text that you've written and um, you don't actually want them in the final paper. Um, you know, that's fine if you have no notes in the drafts folder or something like that. Um, but yeah, so, you know, pretty simple, um, not massive integration. Um, if you really want massive integration, then you, you need a, a reference manager that that basically provides you a system level, um, you know, uh, way of uh, searching and creating citations. Again, papers used to do this. I dropped it for bookends because papers were just getting too bloated, too slow. Uh, bookends is much faster much nicer so you know that's 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 basically how it works it's pretty easy um, now um, one thing that I wanted to discuss with you more sort of like substantive less of uh, how to use Scrivener is when do you use page numbers in in a paper and basically the answer to that is when you want to help the reader find whatever you're you're citing so obviously you always use uh, page numbers when you're quoting a quoting a paper that's just uh, reference norms but sometimes you know when i'm using a specific definition or i'm talking about a specific part of a text i like to put the page number just because you know this this will help the the reader find it and it has happened to me sometimes when reading papers that people cite a paper and um, I'm not really sure what they're going on about. I can't find like their claim about the paper in the paper. So, you know, it's just more helpful if people are actually using your paper to find other papers to use on their research. Um, I also find that it's more transparent, that it really shows, okay, I can check whether, um, you know, you are really using the paper appropriately. Obviously, you know, you don't don't want to do it all the time. So I never do it when it's like, the, you know, the contribution of the paper or the main point of the paper basically fits in the abstract. Then I, I don't think there's a point um, of doing that because, you know, you're citing the, the, the paper's contribution, not, for example, specific treatments of um, theories in the paper and so on and so forth. Um, so definitely don't overdo it. But I just think it's... Um, more respectful it's more helpful for readers more respectful more transparent you know and it also a little bit um you know shows um it basically shows rigor right that you know that you are being precise in in your citation uh, don't do it all the time because it, it uh it is like really annoying then for the reader but just make sure <laughs> I just had a coffee and coffee makes me sleepy after lunch. Guess what? So what I'm saying is just make sure that, you know, when you are referencing specific points or specific claims in another paper that you put the page number so that people can check. Okay. Just good practice. Okay. So hopefully this was helpful. You know how to use uh, now uh, reference uh, citation managers in, in, in Scrivener. 
again, not super sophisticated, uh, but you know, does, does the job. I've been doing this for years, always fine with me. Okay, so have a good day and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.